What's up guys? Welcome back to the JV's Food Adventures. It's me, JV. Today we're gonna make another delicious, delicious dish. But before we get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, share with all your friends and family after the video, okay? So a couple days ago I posted on my Instagram, Korean short ribs. Everybody's like, oh my God, Jay, that looks so good. Please, please post the video. I'm like, ah, but I am gonna post it. Let's get into it. First thing you wanna do is you wanna soak your short ribs inside some water and uh, once you soak them all the impurities are going to kind of rise up because when you eat them sometimes they're like little pieces of bone but if you soak them in water it'll help take out those bones and you won't have like crunchy pieces of bone in your meat nobody wants that you're like mm -hmm. you don't want it for about 30 minutes in some cold water and then once after the 30 minutes you're going to rinse it off and then uh we start making a marinade and then it's cooking time all right guys so i got super lucky at the market uh normally when you get these short ribs uh, this is not a lot of meat, but this one, as you can see, it's a lot of meat. Nice and juicy and fat look. But you can also see here, it's a bunch of like loose bones. So once you soak it in water, it'll help that situation out a little bit. Okay, so simple here. Doesn't matter if you stack them or not. It's all the same. So I just got a little measuring cup. This is actually my blender. I'm just gonna fill it up with water and pour over my ribs. You just want to cover the ribs fully. Remember, it's cold water, not hot water. It has to be cold. All right, guys, so now that we got our ribs soaking, what we can do is make our marinade for the ribs. So it's super simple. It's going to be garlic, uh, garlic, jalapenos, green onions, and ginger with some soy sauce, brown sugar. Super easy, super simple. I'm going to put it all in my blender. I'm not going to blend it. I'm just going to hold it in my blender, and then I'm going to pour it over the ribs later. All right, guys, so I have a, one bunch of green onions here, or scallions. Just gonna cut the ends off because uh, I just don't like them. I mean, we're not gonna cook them to eat them, but I just don't want them in there. Uh, I'm just gonna cut them into not too much of small pieces. Uh, I wanna say, just like that, I'm gonna cut them down to that size. Super simple, super easy. Then into the blender it goes. I got two jalapenos. Now trust me, even though I'm putting two jalapenos, it's not gonna be very spicy. Something about that soy sauce, it, doesn't, it just doesn't get spicy, okay? Okay, after you chop the jalapenos, now be careful. Once you touch these jalapenos, do not touch your eyes, do not touch your face, because it will burn. Get our ginger, use half of this. Okay, the rest of the side. And we're just gonna trim off the, the outer layer. Okay, so I also added my ginger inside our concoction here. All right, next I have my garlic here. I'm gonna use about six cloves of garlic. I really like the garlic flavor more in the sauce than anything. Uh, ginger and the jalapenos and the green onions just to complement it, but I love the garlic flavor. I mean, garlic is like one of my favorite things to cook with. You're gonna hold on to your surface if it's a sturdy surface, because we all know mine is, isn't that sturdy. And then we're just gonna press down, okay? So. Ah, there you go, boom. I'm gonna add them whole. I'm just gonna break them out of their little uh, shell, skin, whatever. And then I'm gonna add them in, into this mixture that we have here, here at JV's Food Adventures. We make it super simple, super easy for you to make. You can make it in a matter of minutes. Even a baby can do it, okay? Matter of fact, I'm gonna bring a baby on the show and they're gonna make it. Maybe next episode. <laughs> Stay tuned, you gotta watch. All right, so take them out of their shell. I'm gonna smash it down. Take off the, uh, the skin or the shell or whatever you want to call it. So then you're going to add it, add it there, just like that. The thing with garlic, it makes your hands super sticky. If you know the reason why, leave in the comments below. Let me know. Teach me. Okay, so here I have ginger, garlic, jalapenos, green onions. It smells really good. <laughs> this is going to be good to add to our ribs. Man, I can't wait, can't wait till we eat. So soy sauce, I'm gonna add a, I wanna cover all this stuff and then I'm gonna add the sugar. Uh, I'm gonna mix in the sugar until I feel it's sweet enough. If you don't like it as sweet, you like it more uh, soy saucy, uh, umami, uh, technical terms, uh, you can uh, balance it out. Okay, so. All right guys, so I have my soy sauce here in my mixture. Uh, smells really good. I mean, it smells really, really good. Now we're gonna add brown sugar. I like to add a 
a butt ton of brown sugar because I feel like it really, really brings the flavor out. About a quarter of this bag of brown sugar is gonna go in here, okay? All right. Now the great thing is if you put too much sugar, you can just balance it out with soy sauce. But if you put too much soy sauce, you do. All right, let me get my spoon. Just gonna mix it in slowly here. All right guys, so I have my marinade. I'm just gonna give it a little taste. I wanna make sure it has enough sugar. Uh, if it doesn't have enough sugar, I'll just add more. Definitely need some more sugar. And that's it. So instead of a quarter bag, I use about half a bag of brown sugar for one pack of ribs. Uh, don't worry, it's gonna taste good. It's gonna taste good. That's all we need to focus on. I'm gonna mix it up again and give it another taste. That's the money right there. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's the formula. We're gonna take this and we're just gonna add it to our ribs. Let it sit for about 30 to 45 minutes. After that, we're cooking. All right guys, so my short ribs here have been soaking for about, I don't know, 20, 35 minutes. And if you look super close, you can see all the little pieces of bone floated up to the top of the water. And uh, that's gonna help you and save you from having any uh, chip tooths, <laughs> tooths, teeth, uh, and it'll definitely, definitely help with uh, your enjoyment of eating. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna drain all that water off, and then I'm gonna cut my short ribs in half because uh, this is a little bit easier to eat when you just cut them in half versus eating that long, big rib. All right, guys. So. Uh, as you can see, my ribs here, they've been soaking. They don't look very impressive. They look kind of limp and like white. It's just because the water got into it. So just imagine when you take a bath and you're in the, in the water, you kind of get all soggy. But when you get out and you moisturize, you look fresh again. So that's what we're gonna do here. So the ribs, soggy. Once we put that marinade on them and cook them and take them out, beautiful, nice and moisturized, okay? So I'm just gonna cut it in half so it's easier to eat. Uh, of course, you can eat like this. But I don't want to, okay? I'm not a caveman. Well, kind of. Just gonna cut it in half. Now look how much easier it is to eat. Mmm, mmm. And it'll help when you marinate your meat because the smaller pieces, it'll allow the meat to marinate a little bit better. All right guys, so here you have it. I, I cut the ribs in half. I'm just gonna layer them over the top of each other as much as I can, give them some space. And then we're gonna take our delicious marinade here. I'm just gonna pour it over the top, look at this. But <laughs> for the most part, we're almost done. We're just gonna let it marinate. You wanna make sure you submerge that meat inside the marinade. You want that flavor to come all across. Uh, we're gonna let it sit for about 30 to 45 minutes. If you do this the night before, you let it sit overnight, guarantee you amazing, amazing, amazing results. But you know, 35 to 40, you should be all right. All right guys, so I've had our ribs marinating for about 30 minutes. Uh, they look pretty good, let me see you guys how they look. So when you marinate them for a decent amount of time, they look super, super delicious. So pick it up here with this fork. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be delicious. So now we're just gonna head over to the stove and we're gonna cook them straight on the, not the flat top, but on the stove in the pan. And then I'm gonna cook the sauce down so we could pour it all over or put it on the side for however you like to eat. I like to drench my ribs in sauce. So super easy, let's do it. All right guys, so we're gonna cook the ribs. Super simple, super easy. A little bit of oil, make sure it's nice and hot. I'm gonna put it down. It's gonna be delicious. All right, let's do it. And then while we're cooking the ribs, we're gonna keep all the extra juice to the side. We're gonna make some sauce with it later to do some drizzling action or dumping action to our ribs, okay? Depends on what you like. If you like a lot of sauce, you can put a lot of sauce. If you don't, just put a little bit, okay? Be very careful, because once the oil gets really hot, this will start popping, okay? So if you're young, make sure you have an adult. If you're an adult, make sure you have an older adult to help you. <laughs> the stove's gonna be hot. Uh, the soy sauce pops a lot, so uh, just be careful, that's all.
All right, guys, so when you are cooking your short rib, you want to make sure the temperature is not super, super, super high for too long because once you, that caramelization from the sugar and the soy sauce hit that pan, it can burn really quickly. And if you burn something, you know what you got to do? Throw it away. So back to the show. All right, guys, so I, I partially cooked my meat. Now I'm going to finish it off in a cast iron skillet. You can finish it off in the oven at home, or you can just eat it as is. The uh, reason why I'm putting it in a cast iron skillet is because I want it to get a little bit char, so it gives you that really barbecue essence, a little smoky, whether you're barbecuing outside on the grill or you're going to Korean barbecue to eat. It's always that smokiness uh, from that, uh, that barbecue with a grill or pit or whatever that gives it an extra, extra delicious flavor. Today, I don't have a grill, so we can't barbecue outside, but the cast iron is going to have to do the job. I think it's going to come out great. Uh, if you have a cast iron at home, I'll say whip it out right now so we can finish off our dish. And then we get to do what I love to do, my favorite part of the day, which is, tell me. It's eat, duh, come on, come on, yeah, you right there with me. All right guys, so I turn my cast iron on. It's gonna put my sauce, all my veggies inside the pan, let it cook down to a nice sauce, and then I'm gonna add the ribs and we're gonna let it char up and become delicious. All right, so my cast iron is on, super hot. All right, oh, we got a little piece of fat here. Oh. Fat is super good. People are scared of fat, but fat is super good. When you cook it down, look at that thing. When you cook this down, it turns into like butter. Okay. Then we're gonna add all of this here. All right, guys, so here I, I cooked down my sauce. So look at that, beautiful, beautiful. I'm just gonna add the ribs back and then bada bing, bada boom. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, oh. It is hot as balls out here in LA. And me cooking at the same time, extra hot balls. <laughs> Tell me how hot it is wherever you're at. Is it hot as balls or hot as ass? You let me know. <laughs> So we're done with our ribs. We're gonna let this char down some more, let that sauce reduce. Now, I'm just gonna plate the food up and then we're gonna eat it, all right? So let me get my ribs off the stove. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. All right, so here we go. First rib, ooh, nice and hot. Oh. oh, so juicy. It's like I'm making love with the ribs. I haven't even had them yet. <laughs> Ooh. If you don't want so much sauce, you don't have to, you don't gotta put a lot of sauce. So I had some green onions left over from earlier that I chopped up. Just gonna put it over the top, just a little bit of green onions. All right guys, so my favorite part of the day, which is to eat, Let's dig in. Oh, this piece looks juicy. I'm just gonna use my hands and get in there. Mmm, that's good. You taste that garlic, that soy sauce, sugar, the green onions on top give it some the underneath freshness. Oh yeah. As always guys, like the video, even if you didn't like the video, like it anyway, because it's giving me a, a lot of love and support. And if you really, 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 really like the video, make sure you share it with your friends and family. Until next time, JV.